In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can live the sumptuous, elegant and more formal life of a Bridgerton. If you're not familiar with the popular Regency series Bridgerton, you can pretend this video is called How to Elevate Your Everyday Life. Hello friends and welcome back. Bridgerton, the Netflix series based on the best-selling Regency romance novels by Julia Quinn, has taken the world by storm. The luxurious sets, lavish costumes and beautiful actors have plunged the world into an exquisite new style of clothes and has created a resurgence of interest in the British aristocratic living of old. In this video, we're talking about how you can elevate your daily life, which in turn can make you feel more like a Bridgerton. Tip 1 for elevating your life and living more like a Bridgerton is to take the time to dress beautifully. Ditch the gym workout clothes that you wear to the school gate and wear the gorgeous clothes you probably have somewhere in your wardrobe. Unless you're planning on going for a jog, rather opt for good quality clothes that flatter your shape and style as your everyday garments. Do your hair and makeup and take pride in your appearance. Not only will you feel better, have shown that taking the time to improve your appearance can do wonders for your mental health and how you see yourself. Tip 2. Take time for tea. Tea is synonymous with English living. No matter how stressful the day, a cup of tea can take the weight of the world from your shoulders and renew your wilting energy, especially if you pair it with a sweet treat. Spoil yourself with a beautiful tea set and enjoy properly brewed tea every day for a feeling of true indulgence. Tip 3 for elevating your life and feeling more like a Bridgerton is to dine in style. Bring out the rarely used china you got as a wedding gift and use it every single day for every single meal, even the simple meals. Toss out the cracked and chipped crockery and instead remind yourself that you deserve the beautiful things in life. Every day is a new opportunity and each day you wake up is a special occasion. Get out the tablecloths and the cloth napkins, light some candles and enjoy formal dining while you connect with your family after a long day. Tip 4 is to take pride in your home. The old adage goes, an Englishman's home is his castle and this can be true no matter your nationality or what kind of home you live in. Take pride in your home. Decorate it to your taste, get rid of possessions that don't bring you joy and keep a tidy clean space. Light candles, play beautiful music and make your home a sanctuary for yourself and your family.
five is to promenade, otherwise known as taking a walk. In Regency times, ladies and gentlemen would walk in Hyde Park to be seen and to socialise. There's no reason why you can't do the same. Whether you go out for a run, a solitary walk, or meet your friends for a walk, or to take the dog for a walk, getting out every day not only lifts your mood, it helps to ground you more in nature, but also has physical benefits and also a positive effect on your mental health. Don't forget to wear a hat and sunscreen, no matter the weather, to protect your skin. Tip six is to write letters. I feel it's such a pity that letter writing has become an antiquated concept overshadowed by text and email. Buy some pretty stationery and write a thank you note or consider looking for a pen pal to write snail mail letters too. This lost art is not only satisfying, it's more heartfelt. I love to find that a handwritten letter has made its way through my letterbox rather than just the everyday bills. Tip 7 is to read. Mr Darcy said in Pride and Prejudice when adding on to Caroline Bingley's long list of attributes that an accomplished lady should have, all this she must possess, added Darcy, and to all this she must yet add something more substantial in the improvement of her mind by extensive reading. Reading is something of a passion of mine and I find nothing more relaxing than reading, indoors and out. If you have not read a good book in a long time, consider visiting a bookstore and picking up any book that looks interesting. If you have a Kindle, purchasing books is as easy as clicking a button. Take your book with you everywhere because you never know when you'll have a few minutes to bury your nose in a delicious tale. Thank you for watching friends. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and if you have, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Until next time friends, keep calm and live like a Bridgerton.